Cuba's visitors from other lands were impressed by Havana, one of the liveliest cities of the Americas. They found that in the first half of the 20th century, the Cuban people had built a modern nation. Their skills had built industries and made Cuba's standard of living as high as any in Latin America. But far from the gaiety of Havana, concealed by the agricultural wealth, there were things the visitors did not see, did not know about. Throughout this wealthy island paradise, thousands of Cubans lived in wretched poverty. This poverty was bad enough, but to the Cuban people there was a greater evil. For 60 years, the Cuban people had lived under a succession of corrupt and often dictatorial rulers. The latest and worst of these was Batista. He had turned Cuba into a police state. For seven years, the resistance of the Cuban people mounted. Fidel Castro emerged as the leader of the resistance movement. Dr. Castro, the American people hope that a true democracy will emerge here in Cuba. We want to ask you about your personal plans and about what you hope for your country. As one who has spoken very eloquently about the civil rights that yes. must be guaranteed to the Cuban yes. people, how do I you explain... I will never be against any right that is my think in politics. Very I good. am not communist at all, but I will never be against any right.